Coming up, want to know how to maximize the new Apple pre-order feature? Well, I'm going to show you how to actually set that up, all the best practices, and how we just use that to land an Apple feature. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is your boy, Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. And in this video, I wanna kinda highlight and show you how to actually set your game or app for a pre-order state within iTunes Connect and how you can leverage all this, all the best practices, the exact strategy that we use to help our client get featured in the games category of the pre-order. If you look in the iTunes store or your app store on your phone, you'll see that in there. And how we helped our client get featured on there and what that did. So I'm gonna show you everything, all the best practices that what you can do to make sure you optimize your app launch success by really, really utilizing this new iOS pre-order feature. So let's get to this. All right, guys, here is my iTunes Connect for my apps all alone. I'm gonna go the really quick through all my apps and I'm gonna pick an app that we've been wanting to submit. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so here's the app. Right now, obviously there's no build, there's no anything right now. So this is a perfect candidate, but here's what we're gonna do, okay? So you're gonna set this all up and you're gonna add all this information, which you should already know how to do. And then go into the prepare for submission. Now, again, you're gonna add all this information in here, but here's the key part. You're gonna come in here and then this version release, look, pre-orders are an easy way to generate sales and exposure before release to make your app available, you will do that. So we're definitely gonna do that, right? But here, we wanna make sure this is set properly. So this is automatic release, this version after Apple review, no earlier than, and we're gonna pick a date. So this is this recording, we're in about August, 2018. We're gonna pick a date in August, 2019. All right, very, very critical. Because once it's approved by Apple, now if I'm going through a game launch, right? I'm gonna submit it to Apple. I'm gonna soft launch and all that stuff. But I've, once I figured everything else, and this is my release version, okay? I'm gonna set this for a date way into the future. So I'm gonna put it in 2019 because as of this recording, that's a date, that's a year earlier, okay? So I'm gonna have that saved, perfect. So to set the pre-order, to make your app available for pre-order, what you wanna do is after you submit this app, get it approved by Apple, it's all done, right? Then come back in. Here's what I would do. I'll come back in after it's been approved by Apple, go into pricing and availability. So to set the app for, to make it available in pre-order, pre-order, what I would do is wait until your app is, is approved by Apple. So make it, let it be approved by Apple first and foremost, and then come back in and set a launch date. Okay. So I would set a launch date today. It's now you have to go back to 2018, but today is August 16th as of this recording. So I'm going to select a date about six weeks from now. All right. So 16th, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the 27th, which is my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad. But anyways, I'll put the 26th, okay? And I'm gonna hit save because that's the our launch date now. Now everything's set, meaning the app's already approved. Everything is ready for launch, okay? So now I'm gonna go in into pricing availability, make the app pre available pre-order and select the same launch date that I just did. All right, so 26th, done. And that's it. Now hit save. And then what you're gonna do is pitch Apple. All right, now you're gonna pitch Apple. Now you go appstore.com slash promote. And then you're gonna tell Apple, hey Apple, here's why my app is so cool, da 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 and everything else. I got another video for you that I'll link up after this video that will walk you through the exact process that you, we use to land Apple features this way. But that's what you do. Then you pitch them because now your app is available for pre-order. They see it, they're like, hey, this is a great looking app. And then they feature it in the pre-order section. Now, most of the time, I would say 99% of the time, 95% of the time, once you land that Apple pre-order feature, you're more likely to land the feature when it actually launches as well. So it's a win-win. All right, and those pre-orders, those downloads all hit on day one. So guess what? What happens is, let's say you get that feature, you get 10,000 downloads plus, that's what we're able to achieve for our client who just recently got featured in that pre-order section. And that's gonna hit on day one. So let's say in, you need about 75 to 100,000 downloads 
to hit the top charts, well, now you got 10,000 ready to go, just sitting there. And then you're gonna get another probably 40 or 50,000 just with the Apple feature. Well, guess what? Now that's like, you just need to drive 50 more thousand downloads rather than having to drive 100,000 downloads with your, with your paid acquisition, you only need to drive about 50,000 for your paid acquisition, right? To hit the top charts. So it's really, really advantageous to do this pre-order and the Key thing to remember is for games, you should definitely do this. Now for apps, Apple hasn't had a section within their pre-order part of the apps tab, but games, they definitely already have it. Okay. We've been able to land a feature in there and it was well worth it. So definitely if you're a game, do the pre-order for the app side of things. You can do it. It doesn't hurt, but Unfortunately, there's no feature section, so you can't get a pre-order featured if you're a non-game. All right, guys, that's it. Super easy way to set your game up for pre-order and hopefully land an Apple feature and get those downloads in even before you launch, all right? So if you guys are interested in working with us from an agency standpoint where we do everything for you in terms of ASO, app marketing consulting, and helping you with these Apple features, go check out appmasters.com. And if you want to learn from us and see how we do everything, you don't got to pay us anymore, but you want to learn from us and you're like me, you want to get it down and dirty, well, go check out appmastersacademy.com and definitely hit subscribe. All right, until next time, I'll see you on the next video. So if you want to learn that Apple feature form process, make sure you click that video. And if you want to learn more about soft launching, check that out as well. And 